What is going on guys and welcome to my top five picks for June of 2023. This video is for that person who wants to take advantage of the drop shipping business model over the course of the next few months. Obviously, as we come into those summer months, what that means is that people start buying certain things because their daily activities change. They start spending more time outside, they start having barbecues, they start going to festivals, all those sorts of things, which means there's all those sorts of products that then come into trend and spike massively in popularity popularity. These are hands down the best and easiest products to get started with as quickly as possible because you know for a fact that the demand is high. So in this video, I'm going to show you five great examples of these products and to help you capitalize on this great time of the year as quickly as possible, make the most of it. I'm going to give you every single piece of information you need to get started today. This will include the supplier for each of these products. This will include the profit margins for each of these these products. This will include the targeting for each of these products. This will include the Shopify store strategy for each of these products. Whether I recommend a one product store or branded or general, I will give you Shopify store name ideas. And I will also give you the content, the actual product description itself. So you can copy and paste it onto your stores. That being said, let's jump straight into product number one, which is this slip and slide garden toy. Obviously it goes without saying as the weather's getting better, more and more people are spending time in their garden. Also in summer, we have those months where kids are off school. Um, so parents are pulling their hair out, not knowing what to do and how to keep their kids occupied. Um, and that would probably be my marketing angle for this product as well, because then you're solving a real pain point for someone. So as we move down, you'll notice I've got all the different links up for the suppliers, the Google Trends information, the product description that sort of thing um, the May video I did got 100 likes but if we can get this one to let's go for 50 likes if we can get 50 likes then what I'll do is in the top comment of this video um, I'll put a link to this Google document so you can get a copy of this for free so if you want to get a copy of this make sure you hit that like button um, so anyway let's jump onto AliExpress and take a look at the supplier basically what the product is if you're not familiar with these things um, you can inflate the end of it so it acts as some form of a barrier to stop you going over the edge but obviously it depends on how much speed you carry but the reason I chose this particular one and the reason why I like this particular one is because you'll notice that it squirts water out all the way down the line so when we had these as kids it would usually do it at one end or the other and over time it would dry up and become sticky in different parts however with this one it will stay nice and skiddy or slidey and um, basically you'll be able to continue using it it's just um, a good feature to have on one of these things especially in the warmer weather before we move on to the contextual information product descriptions that sort of thing um, I chose this as an example because I really like this product product but there's loads and loads of other kind of garden activity type products that you shouldn't write off this lends itself to being put in a kind of garden activity type store that you can milk for the next three or four months and then decide what you're going to do after that however I will get into my recommended strategy in a second so just to kind of um, prove it so you don't have to take my word for it if we take a look at Google Trends we can see garden slide this is UK I'm based in the UK so this is where I always check the data because I like to start in the UK first it's less competitive than the US and I find I have a lot more success over here um, it helps as well, of course, when it comes to refunds, um, getting back to customers during the same hours, that sort of thing. Um, but anyway, it goes without saying, we can see as we come into the nice warmer months, this is when people start looking for garden slides. Let's move down into the product description then. I'm not going to read the entire thing. They are quite extensive. Um, but basically what my advice would be is to separate each of these paragraphs with a heading and then at the end of the heading have an emoji and then in between each paragraph have an actual GIF or image um, as well. Just to kind of break it up so introducing the ultimate outdoor garden water slip and slide the perfect summertime companion for children to have a splashing good time in their own backyard oasis designed with boundless fun in mind this exciting water play feature will make hot summer days a breeze so like i mentioned earlier if you want to get a copy of this so you can simply just copy and paste it into your own store uh, make sure you hit that like button and the second we hit 50 likes um, i'll go ahead and pin it in that top comment so let's move down then next we have profit margins so you can get this delivered to your customer for just over 30 dollars i think given the the kind of size of the product and the amount of fun and more importantly the amount of time you can keep children occupied with this that is definitely the biggest seller when you are trying to sell a product make sure you sell the benefits of it not the actual features of it and the features are very beneficial to a parent especially during those summer half terms so my recommended retail price would be $60 leaving a very good profit margin of $30 or $29.80 if you want to be specific there's so many other like I mentioned summer activities and type products that you can use as well and um, I definitely think you'll be able to bump up 
up and build up a pretty profitable store um, starting with this product. So my recommended Facebook and store strategy, um, start with gardens, summer activities, parents with children three to six years. These are all different interests you can target. Definitely go UGC. An image ad isn't gonna sell this. What you need is a real parent holding an iPhone or a camera, talking into it in selfie mode and just showing how the kids love it so much. And, and again, talking about those benefits of how it allows her to get on with her day or do her gardening, whatever it may be. And a video like that is gonna help sell the product so much better than anything you'll find from a supplier on AliExpress or whoever it may be. My advice with this particular product until you have those other products that you've validated and know work, stick to a one product store. Some names I came up with was Slipstream Soakers, Splash Glide and AquaZoom. So feel free um, to take those, manipulate those um, to your own liking. As for targeting countries, go for US, UK and Australia. These are gonna be the countries obviously that are warm at the moment, um, but obviously you can double check this against Google Trends. Moving on to product number two then, I had to feature this product. Um, if you follow the series I do called Facebook Ads Friday, you've seen this product before, but it's too much of a good one. It's too much of a proven winner, not to mention it in a summer products recommendation video. Um, I won't go into too much detail, but basically I found this company selling this product and instead of advertising it as like to clean your car or to wash your plants, they were advertising it to clean your dog or wash your dog with. Um, and it did really well, had thousands of comments, positive comments from people who had bought this product. So there's no two ways about it. This is a proven winning product in my opinion. This is one of the suppliers I found. However, there's a multitude of different suppliers for this thing. It's quite a popular product. So obviously just pick one um, that meets and matches what it is you're looking for. Between them, all of the different suppliers, they've got loads and loads of content. So you wouldn't have to invest in UGC in my opinion initially. So you could test this relatively quickly and cheaply to see if you can make it work before for investing in some original content. So like I said, most people advertise it in it for this use case. Um, however, where I believe the most or more money is to be made um, is advertising it for a dog shampoo hose. As for the Google Trends information, it goes without saying, Garden Hose United Kingdom, 2004 to present, we can see we're almost at the peak, making this the perfect time to sell this product because over the next couple of months, we're gonna be um, hitting those peak demand. So now is the great time to sell this one. Back to our Google Doc then. So introducing the Pawson Pet Spa, the ultimate garden hose jet attachment designed to transform bath time for your furry friend into a refreshing and enjoyable experience. Our end of the product allows you to effortlessly spray shampoo on your dog, making bath time a breeze while ensuring your pet feels pampered and loved. And like I said, they're quite extensive, so I'm not gonna read the whole thing. Just make sure you hit that like button. So if you do want a copy of this, you can simply just copy and paste it into your own stores. As for profit margin then, it's pretty decent products to be fair it's nine dollars 39 delivered i definitely think you could get 30 dollars for a product like this just given the time savings and convenience it can add to somebody's life um, leaving a pretty decent profit margin of 20 dollars and 60 cents and again when it comes to the dog niche there's just a ton of products you can add to this to bump up those average order values moving into my facebook store strategy then or facebook and store strategy i should say um i mean there's endless endless, endless interests you can target that are garden related, dog related. I'd stick to, I'd definitely try some specific dog breeds. For sure, the longer haired dog breeds as well, because they're going to be the dogs which suffer the most or are cleaned the most because they get dirty more often. So you're going to be targeting them owners. Um, stick to things like grooming as well, of course, because you can use this tool, of course, for grooming. As for content then, go with supplier, like I've already mentioned, chop it up, um, put it out there, see what happens. Um, if things look good and you can make it work, um, then once you've validated it, then move on to UGC and branding to make it original and unique to, to you and your business. So I definitely think of one product store, um, names along the lines of Bath, Buddy Pro, which I quite like, um, Splashy Pops and Pampered Pooch Pro as well, which I think is quite a nice one, which people will like. As for country, I mean, there's a demand pretty much everywhere for products like this. So I've just gone with like the big four, US, Canada, UK, and Australia. What you should always do though, is find what works for you. So split these up into different ad sets, um, dedicate a budget to each one, see which one comes back with the best results, which one you're getting the best conversions on that sort of thing, um, and then kill the rest and just focus on the most profitable one. As for product number three, then we have this golf driving net. I'm a massive fan when it comes to the golf niche because it has got to be one of the least competitive niches in dropshipping. You just don't see people 
people selling golf stuff, which makes it super cheap to advertise. A product like this as well, I actually have one of these things. Um, it is genuinely a really good quality product and does have a genuine kind of use case or real world use case use. What I also like about it is you don't have much competition in terms of other people selling these things or other brands like real big brands selling these things um, because I'll show you the profit margins of course in a second, but the only big name brands selling these things is selling them for ridiculous prices. So anywhere there's an opportunity to come in and sell a similar product, but for a fraction of the price, um, that's just a match made in heaven in my opinion. So let's open up the supplier links and the Google Trends information just to show you how popular these are at the moment. So we'll start with the supplier. We'll play this so you can see what it is just in case you're not familiar with them. What I really like about this particular design as well is it actually has a target, which is super important because a lot of them don't have targets. So you just kind of endlessly and mindlessly hitting golf balls into a net. And if anything, that's going to be more damaging for your game. You need a proper target so you can make sure that you have something to aim at. And then if you don't hit it, you know you're not hitting it straight. So like I mentioned, um, a genuinely good product. Um, and for the kind of golf enthusiast, um, definitely one they would consider. Onto the Google Trends info then, um, it's pretty self-explanatory. When the weather is nice, more and more people are getting outside and playing golf. And um, what's really good about golf as well is it's so massive. It's a huge, huge, huge sport. Um, so it stays pretty popular all year round. So this could even be a consistent seller for you um, amongst other golf products as well, of course. Back to the Google Doc then. So we've got the product description. Introducing the Ultimate Golf Pro Practice Net, the perfect training companion for golfers of all skill levels. Levels who want to enhance their aim and take the game to the next level. Whether you're practicing indoors or outdoors, this versatile net with a built-in target offers a convenient and effective solution to improve your swing accuracy and consistency. And again, same format, split it up with different images, GIFs, headings, that sort of thing, just to make it that much easier for the consumer to consume, to read. We need to profit then. So we've seen that the cost was 33 and 36 delivered. Brands will sell these things in excess of hundred pounds. So starting at $70 is definitely reasonable which leaves a very healthy profit margin of 36.60 you could couple this as well with one of those split payment methods like Klarna, shop pay after pay just to help customers be able to afford it to obviously kind of break up that 70 dollars into three payments or four payments of whatever it may be however my experience in the golf niche it's not a cheap sport to play in the first place you can't even get one golf club for 70 dollars so i don't think many people would sniff at that especially if they're used to seeing these nets for a hundred dollars plus um, they should snap that right up Moving into the Facebook and store strategy then. So interest wise, obviously golf related interests, go for famous faces, try and think or find some famous faces that are massively famous outside of golf. So you're gonna be targeting those, those purists that know who those golfers are. And you can also target practice, golf practice related interests, different golf courses and competitions. That really is the beauty when it comes to the golf niche as well, is that there's lots and lots of different interests within it. So it's quite a large market that you can target, which probably contributes towards why CPMs um, can be so cheap. In terms of the content to sell this, you're going to need UGC. There's loads and loads, endless small time influencers in the golf space that would probably love to receive one of these that they can film their own content with. Um, so send some messages, try and get a few of them on board to film some pieces of content for you. Um, and I think that will pay dividends when it comes to your marketing results. As for my recommended Shopify store, I could have went in a couple of directions with this one. Um, my preference if you know what you're doing with Shopify store design then I'd always say go straight to one product store and then branch out once you've found a product that's validated and start adding more into your product range so for this I'm going to go one product store um, and some names that I came up with was Golf Aim Academy, Prime Shot and OptiDrive. As for the my recommended countries again golf is a global sport um, loved by people everywhere um, so stick to UK and US for sure but then also test Canada and Australia and again it's just a case of putting it out there to everybody and seeing which one comes back with the best results. Moving on to product number four then this is probably one of my favorite products because there's 100% a big demand um, for products like this. Um, I was at an event recently actually where I needed one of these and didn't have it which actually gave me the idea um, to feature it in this video. Basically what it is, is it's a portable pop-up sunshade for a young child. So obviously as we come into summer, you wanna spend time in the garden, you wanna to go to the park, you wanna to go to events, you wanna go on holiday, you wanna to go to the beach, you wanna go down to the river, the lake, wherever it may be, and you wanna give your young one some shade, um, then this is essentially what you need. And what this person will demonstrate now is how you can fold it up into a small, easy to pack package. 
um, just making it an ideal product. And again, with one of those kind of um, real world use case scenarios and benefits to it. Comes in a couple of different colors. There are some different variations of this product as well. Um, so for example, these ones um, here, if you're not a fan of the shark, style um, i quite like that i think it gives it kind of like a usp either way you're looking at 18 pounds that's with free shipping with an on-time guarantee just to prove to you as well so you haven't got to take my word for it um, baby shade uk for the past five years we can see as the weather gets warmer more and more people look for this sort of thing and we can see we're currently on a breakout period this week probably due to the great weather making this a perfect product to get started with sooner rather than later moving down into the product description then so introducing the fantastic shark baby shade the ultimate sun protection companion for your little ones designed to keep them cool and entertained during outdoor adventures this innovative pop-up shade combines the charm of a shark with the practicality of a shaded paddling air area in case you missed it it did have kind of like a recess which you can fill with water so they can have a little paddle um, creating a delightful oasis for your baby to enjoy um, so on and so forth move down into the profit margins then so it was $25 delivered the recommended retail price for me I would say is $50 I think that's more than reasonable when it comes to the baby niche um, especially grandparents they don't spare any expense so I don't think $50 would be a problem for anyone um, this would leave a very healthy profit margin of 24 and 99 cents as for my Facebook and store strategy then, go for all of those kind of outdoor adventure related interests, so beach, um, garden as well, um, you, there's obviously grandparent related ones like retirement and that sort of thing, however I think where you'll find most of your success is if you target parents with toddlers and babies, um, that way you're just going to be going straight to the ideal person who has a demand for this. My advice as well is to go to straight to UGC, um, again get a real mother, there's endless small time influencers out there with blogs, with socials that love to receive one of these things for free in return for um, a two minute clip it's not an expensive product so for the sake of a hundred dollars you could send a few of these things out um, to a few different people you could get some great content back and you'd make that back within a day or two um, based on the ad results you'll get versus using just chopped up stock footage from suppliers go for one product store um, some names i quite like are shade shark i think that's a really good one um fin haven as well and also shark brella is probably one of my favorites too as for countries go for wherever it is warm at the moment so obviously uk us canada and australia moving on to product number five then now you might be thinking what the hell is that thing uh, so let me open up the supplier and google trends links and then i can show you it is basically something that a lot of people are buying right now so before i actually show you what it is actually let's take a look um at the Google Trends information. So it is a garden sunshade. Um, and as we can see, again, we're kind of approaching that peak popularity time, making this a ideal product to get started in. It's not your typical product either that you see many people selling. So I think competition for something like this um, is gonna be relatively low, making it a relatively easy or uh, easy-ish um, product to sell and have success with. So as you've probably noticed by now, it's a sunshade which you can put up in your garden. We're definitely at that time of year where people start spending more money and more time in their gardens and putting decking in or gazebos that sort of thing and this is just a cheap alternative to investing in the time or labor and tools of building an actual gazebo with a roof you can just put up one of these things for the for the cost of like fifty dollars into the product description and introducing the modern triangle sunshade i don't really like that name so you probably swap that out um, the perfect solution to elevate your garden patio or outdoor space with style and functionality this sleek and contemporary sunshade adds a touch of elegance while providing essential shade and protection from the sun's harsh rays allowing you to enjoy the outdoors in comfort and style and again with the bullet points just pointing out different features and benefits of it as a profit margin then $15.17 is quite a cheap product it comes in a various range of different sizes so you can pitch it to the market no matter um, what they're looking for my recommended retail price would be $50 which would leave a very good profit margin of $34.82 that would allow you to reach quite a few people um, making it more likely you're going to find a customer and see a return on that as for my facebook and store strategy then anything outdoor and garden related summer related hosting parties barbecues that sort of thing what i like about this product as well is some simple carousel image ads taken from suppliers to show nice outdoor spaces i think that's all you'll need to sell this product really really well um, i definitely go for a one product store to begin with like the previous products um, and the names i've chosen for this are triscape canopy solarscape canopy and shade lux and as with the others as 
well as for countries go for anywhere that's warm and it's sunny and there'll be a demand for this just make sure you double check it cross reference it against google trends uk us canada and australia of course and so with that being said that's my top five picks for june of 2023 hope you guys enjoyed it more importantly hope you guys found some value and got you excited about starting your business and more importantly than that i hope you take one of these products and put it into action and get some results if there's any way i can help you do that in any shape or form make sure you leave a comment down below i read every single one so i will get back to you make sure you hit the like button so we can get this video to 50 likes and i will post a link to this exact google doc thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one cheers